Today I'm driving home a customer car and um, the complaint on the work order is after driving for an extended period of time, 20 minutes, a half an hour, the car starts to shake and um, makes a grinding noise and the steering wheel starts pulling to the side. So it sounded like a caliper was binding. Something that happens from time to time. It's not that common on Audis. You see it a lot more on BMWs for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's just my experience. But um, you know, Land Rovers, they use the same kind of BMW calipers. You used to see it a lot on those when I worked on Rovers. But um, yeah, what it is is you drive it for an extended period of time and then you'll start to feel the caliper will bind and it'll start pulling in one direction or the other sometimes or sometimes you'll just notice a kind of a, a vibration and you know, it, it, you only really feel it on higher speed because it'll uh, start to overheat the brake rotor. And um, a good way to check it is these little thermal guns that you can buy now. These little uh, little temp guns. They're uh, super cheap. They used to be very expensive a few years ago. Now you can buy them for 10, 20 bucks on Amazon or eBay or whatever. And um, you can just drive it, drive the car around for a while. And uh, when it starts to vibrate pretty good or when you notice the problem pull over to the side of the road and you can just shine this and you know just put it on each one of the wheels like this pull the trigger and um, look for a temperature differential between all of the wheels if you have one that's getting really hot the odds are it's a um, that's the that's the corner where you have a caliper seizing up uh, I haven't really seen anything else cause a, a large temperature deviation from wheel to wheel other than a caliper binding you know there's it's it's possible that other things could affect it slightly. Maybe if you had a, you know, another caliper that was, you know, not functioning or the hardware was seized in such a way where it wasn't putting, applying well, good pressure, you could have one getting hot and, and more hot than the other. But you wouldn't see a huge deviation in temperature unless you had one of the calipers that was binding. So if you shine this on your wheels, after you, uh, if you have a car that's shaking after you drive it for an extended period of time, shaking violently and then the, the steering wheel is pulling off to the side and you suspect a caliper issue, this is the way to, uh, this is the way to check. So it's the easiest, it's fast, it's cheap. That's it. So hope this helps. Thank you.